Puffy, it is time for a little bit of fact or a little bit of crap. Here on Thursday edition, guys, here we always break into a little bit of fact or a crap. This is going to be strictly AFC, um, AFC playoff talk, right? So if you guys don't know, fact is we agree. Crap is we disagree. So with that being said, guys, play along in the chat. Let us know. Talk your shit, and we'll bring up the most relevant comments. Actually, we bring up oh, damn near all the comments, but let's get into it. So the first factor crap of the day is going to be about those Carson Lang's Buffalo Bills. One of the biggest stigmas for the Buffalo Bills, a.k.a. Josh Allen, in the playoffs is that Josh Allen is not very good in the playoffs. Josh Allen is just not a playoff type of quarterback. So I was scrambling around when I like when I saw this statement. I was like, you know what? I think I agree because, of course, I, re- I remember the 13 seconds for Josh Allen very, very, very well. But then I, we went back and re-watched that, re-watched that game, and Josh Allen actually played really, 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 really good. So I gathered up the stats from his regular season and postseason. Regular season, Josh Allen averages about 241 passing yards per game. He has a 62% completion rate, and he he has a 92 passer rating, and he has a total of 167 touchdowns to 78 interceptions. In the postseason, Josh Allen averages 291.8 yards passing per game, 63 uh, passing percentage, 99.6 passer rating, and 17 touchdowns to four interceptions. So, Hoffy. I'm going to kick it to you first. Is Josh Allen, factor crap, the reason the Buffalo Bills will lose the game versus the Pittsburgh Steelers? Factor crap. Crap. They're not going to lose that game. Uh, and I think it was Nick Wright yesterday on, uh, on, on his show said it best. I mean, all 106 players on that football field are afraid of Josh Allen. because You don't know what you're going to get. But no, I, I, I don't think that the... Pittsburgh Steelers have enough uh, weapons on either side of the ball to disturb, um, you know, Josh Allen. You got to get pressure on him, and that ain't going to happen. Yeah, uh, Snoop uh, seems to disagree with you there because we all know that you know stats lie, right? The simple fact of the matter is that stats do lie. But when we look at it time after time again, obviously the quarterback is going to be taking most of the blame, right? When If and when the Kansas City Chiefs lose to the Miami Dolphins on Saturday night on Peacock, which we will be streaming the game live here on our uh, affiliate platform, guys. So don't don't worry about buying Peacock. Come over to Facebook.com, YouTube.com, click on the man hour, and I'll have a link to where you guys can watch the game totally for free. But we digress from that. If the Chiefs were to lose to the the Miami Dolphins, all that blame is we placed on Patrick Mahomes. If the Browns... Lose to the Texans, all that blame is going to be play, placed on Joe Flacco. If the Ravens lose their first round game to the Texans or the Browns or whoever they play, it's all going to be Lamar Jackson's fault. But when I watch Josh Allen play football, I am quickly becoming a Josh Allen fan. The reason is because he, you don't know what you're going to get. I think uh, Hoffy, your boy, what Nick Wright or whoever said it, said it exactly right. Josh Allen, let's look at the Miami game. First half of the Miami game, two red zone interceptions or two interceptions within the 20, 25, not quite the red zone, a sack strip fumble. And he said, you know what? Hold my damn beer. We're going to come back and we're going to win this game. We're going to win this game. And that is what is so intriguing about uh, Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills. So if the Buffalo Bills happen to lose, to the Pittsburgh Steelers on uh, Sunday, right? I think they play Sunday. I, I don't. I, I can't. Can't. Can't remember for sure. It will not be because of Josh Allen. It will be because other factors within the Bills organization. So fact. So so. No, I'm sorry. Crap. Crap. That Josh Allen will be the reason of the Buffalo Bills failures. Uh, if uh, Josh Allen will be the reason to crap. It's. It is crap. It is crap. The real reason that the Buffalo Bills could possibly lose against the Pittsburgh Steelers? Stephon Diggs. Stephon Diggs. We we talked about AJ Brown being a, a uh, being a uh, cancer in the locker room for the for the uh, Philadelphia Eagles. 
Last three playoff losses for the uh, Buffalo Bills. What was Stephon Diggs doing on the sideline? It's your fault. It's not my fault. Point and blame at everybody else, right? Point and blame at everybody else. Let's go ahead and jump into the chat. Kevin says, fact. Josh Allen is a bad playoff quarterback, he says. Ant says, crap. So far, 50-50 across the board. And then Carson Lang says, crap. Josh Allen is a dominant playoff quarterback. His stats are money. What did you want him to do with 13 seconds other than call heads? Exactly. Exactly. I mean... I kind of pointed that, I guess, alluded to that Stefan Diggs could possibly be the issue. Uh, but really, the real issue in Buffalo has been their uh, defense, right? And, uh, Hoffie, do you remember the uh, Bills offensive coordinator when they uh, lost to the Kansas City Chiefs with 13 seconds left in the game? Um, but the, he stepped away this year because Sean McDermott wanted to call the plays or, or something. No, Dorsey was the offensive co uh, coordinator. I can't, I can't, I can't, can't remember. Oh, it, you're referring to the defensive coordinator. Yes. Yeah. Um, it was, it was, he, he, it was the black guy. Uh, was it Leslie Frazier? Is, is that who it is? Yes. I think. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was Leslie Frazier. So this year, everything's lined up for the Buffalo Bills, right? 